Christian et Prime sont deux graffeurs hawaïens qui ont accepté de participer à l'élaboration d'une immense fresque murale dont le thème s'inspire des vieux chants traditionnels. Ils mettent leur savoir-faire au service de jeunes étudiants et découvrent à cette occasion leur appartenance à une culture qu'ils avaient jusque-là ignorée. Et leur vision du street art va s'en trouver transformée. To be honest, I thought this would be like my swan song. I'm gonna do all these murals around the islands and then peace, I'm out. Astro was a king, like just killing it on the street scene. As he started to come home, he just wanted to king it. He had that mentality, like, yeah, we're just gonna smash. I was pushing and pushing and not valuing how it is here. For me, being Hawaiian in this time, it's kind of hard. I think that's what's attracted them to this project. It's another way to express who they are culturally in a different way. With hip hop, hip hop was a replacement culture for us not knowing our own Hawaiian culture. It's gone deeper and deeper into our Hawaiian culture, deeper into the spirituality that opened our eyes to this whole part of life that we hadn't been aware of. The dream was to give them more accessibility to this art form and to get better than my generation could have ever been. When I lived in California, it was me by myself. I was missing a feeling of connectedness. But coming here and then painting about our culture, it's more of a sense of, I don't want to let these people down. Comment sauver ces tatouages que les anciens en Papouasie-Nouvelle-Guinée exhibent encore sur leur poitrine, sur tout leur corps Ces motifs qui leur assuraient une place dans leur société. À l'arrivée des missionnaires, ces grands-mères se sont tues, n'ont rien transmis, ce que regrette la jeune génération. Simply, part of the problem is that when the missionaries came in, they tabooed tattoos. But I don't think they realized the importance of the tattooing and what that actually played um, or what that did to um, empower our women and their roles in traditional society. Bubu thinks that um, Papuan men shouldn't have women's, Papuan women's tattoos on them, but if for the tattooing practice not to die, that mixed Papuan men, if they wish to have that Papuan women's Papuan tattoo, they should to carry it on. Losing that would be it's like being totally displaced in your own culture. In your own country. Being unable to identify yourself. Patterns are becoming, uh, you know, the ghost or, ghost or something like that, or being inside an uh, ideology or something like that. So this is where the culture is being faced out. Rendez-vous à la Maison de la Culture jusqu'au 12 février. 